Welcome to another quickie. Today we'll uh, show you how to install Visual Code Server add-on for Home Assistant. You will recognize the screen. This is the Home Assistant install that I use for these tutorials. I am going to go to Settings and then Add-ons and the Add-on Store. I am going to look for Studio. And you will see that there is only one studio that comes, and that is Studio Code Server. Click on it, and then click on Install. Now, this is going to take a second, so I will catch you when it is installed. A few moments later. And here we are, it's installed. So first things first, we are going to do the basic configuration that would be enabling watchdog in case it crashes and show it in the sidebar because it is a tool from there we are going to start it and go straight to the logs and hit refresh a couple of times to see how the, if it goes up now once you see this line here and for session server listening on then it is started and we can go straight to it and here it is and it is still starting it is uh, configuring itself inside of home assistant and this may take a couple of seconds and here we are first things first Ooh, it is bright here uh, we're gonna say i understand and then the first thing that we're gonna do is go to manage themes uh, product, uh, sorry, color of the theme, and we're just gonna pick a dark one. Okay, much better. Nobody is blinded anymore. Okay, your installation may be slightly different. You may have a lot of questions in this area here. It, for some odd reason, happens from time to time to me, and then from time to time it doesn't. Moving along swiftly, I just want to show you what a configuration file looks like. So this is the main configuration file for Home Assistant. And you can see there is very little into it. Obviously, through these tutorials, we will fill it up. Basically, that is it. In the next quickie, I will show you how to install the Samba add-on server because we are going to need it for the next tutorial. And I will see you then.